We're ready now. Um, you've got your screen there at the ready and you've got your ruler, which you're going to need to use for quite a few of these things. Let's have a look at the question. So I've got my questions over here because I can't have both on at the same time. Okay, so this is question two. So let's just start by saying part A. What are the dimensions of the block? Okay, so you've got the easy part first that they actually give you over here on the right hand side. Can you see it? They give you that that's 20 meters, but then they haven't provided the other well, they haven't provided the width of the block for you. Do, do you see that? So you're going to need to get your ruler out and you're going to need to measure in centimeters or millimeters, whichever you prefer. You're going to need to measure all the way across. So you have this distance. Okay, now I actually heard it. When I measured it, I got 9.9 .9 centimeters. Okay. So stay with me. Shh. When we're about, remember when we we're looking at scale, you might need to write this down on the bottom here to remind yourself that scale is equal to, it's a fraction. Do you remember that? What's it over, what over what? Do you remember? Oh, it's the drawing length. Yeah, it's the drawing's length divided by the reality, the real length, right? So you might like to put that down here, drawing over reality. Okay. Now the scale is told to us, right? It's 1 to 400. So in order to get from the drawing, that 9.9 .9 centimeters, to how wide it's supposed to be in reality, this is part A. I guess I would say the width, that's what I'm going to call this, or the width of the block, because there's a width of a whole bunch of things. The width of the block is going to be the distance I measured, that 9.9 .9 centimeters, note the units, and remember, we said this thing's supposed to be 400 times bigger in reality. So I'm going to multiply by 400. Okay. So uh, one thing that's nice there is that you can see, uh, over, I'll just zoom in for a second. You can see I'm going to multiply by 400. I'm going to do this quite a lot. Multiplying by 100 is the same as changing from centimeters, the unit I have, to meters, right? So I suppose if you want, you can write this down below. This 9.9 .9 centimeters is going to become 9.9 .9 meters times 4. Does that make sense? You see how I dealt with the 100 and I used it to convert centimeters to meters. Okay. Now you can then go to your calculator. You should be able to check. I'm pretty sure that's 39.6 meters. Okay. Uh, one of the ways I check that quickly is it's close to 10, right? It's close to 10. So if it's pretty much 10, 10 times 4, 40, but you take off a little bit and that's the little bit you take off. Okay. Right, so I've used my ruler to measure, find out the width of the block. Have I answered the question? N not quite. I need the dimensions, right? So I would say, therefore, the dimensions are. And because it's something with um, length and width, I'm going to provide both of those. So I would say uh, 39.6 meters by 20 meters, because they already told us the 20. Okay. All right, that's not too hard. So now, uh, the next question is much in the same style. So it says, rather than the dimensions of the block, find the length of the driveway to the garage. So you can see where it is. Again, I'd like you to measure. And just like we did before, you want to get it in reality, so you'll need to multiply whatever you measure by 400. Can you have a go? Put your ruler up and see what you get. Why did we do the, like, why did we zoom up so like, the width was one? Because in this book, right, like they've, they've actually printed this book out, right? And they've printed it such that this is one centimeter. And then off the basis of that, they said, okay, you know what? This scale is one to 400. And in this book, it doesn't change, right? But then of course we come with our fancy technology and depending on what you're looking at, it'll be bigger or smaller. So it's no longer one to 400 if I'm, you know, if I'm this, right? It's huge now, yeah? So that's why I had to make it um, the same size as this. Okay, so who's measured it out? Has someone measured it out? 6.5, okay. 6.4, 6 now it's worth pointing out, right? Because we looked at this back in MM1 that we're all using something like this, right? So clearly this has error built into it, yeah? Um, my, has the, the units that I've got are millimeters. So what does that mean about my measurements? What does that mean? What's my, what's my margin of error? What's the greatest possible error? 
it's half a millimeter, right? But it's half a millimeter plus or minus. So if someone measures 6.5 and another person measures 6.4, actually that's exactly what we would expect, right? There's that one, one millimeter of difference that we're just not sure about, okay? By the way, it's worth mentioning, in an exam, they have to take this into account and there are questions just like this. So at the HSC, we have to accept a range of responses, okay? In fact, when I had a look, some of my answers disagreed with the textbooks, but they'll only be off by whatever that amount is. So, um, let's go with 6.5. I'm going to say driveway, because that's what I'm working out. What's the range on if we know answers Like, what would be the range? Yeah, good question. Well, let's, let's answer that right now. So, I've calculated 6.5 centimeters times 400. I think that ends up being, what, 26? Someone calculated it already? I... Th yeah, is it 26? Yeah? Okay. 26 meters? Okay, now hold on a second. Let's just think about it. If I had measured 6.4 centimeters instead of 6.5, then I multiply by 400. So how far will I be off in the final number, in the real number? Hmm. Off by one millimeter here, but I, I multiply that by 400, right? Let me write that down. The error, yeah, good, you got it. So the error, right? In the measured drawing, right, it's going to be 0 0.1 centimeters. There's a dot there, which is inconvenient. But when I multiply it by 400, that's going to be 40 centimeters, right? So therefore, you might get 26 meters or you might get 25.6 meters, and they're both within that error, okay? Right, let's have a look. Keep going, we've got some more measurements to do, and th some of these are a bit, some of them are tricky, some of them are given to you. Part C says, determine the distance between the house and the fence. So can you see uh, on the block, there's a fence going all the way around. It's in pink. Oh. Um, and then it asks you on the northern boundary, and there's a compass just over there on the left-hand side in case you hadn't noticed it, and on the southern boundary. Okay. Um, now, they actually have given you these distances. Look carefully. You don't have to measure these with a ruler. The first one on the northern boundary is 2 meters, so you can just state that, um, part C, part 1, just 2 meters. For part C, part 2, where am I going to look? Okay. The, driveway. the driveway is the width between the southern, sorry, between the fence and the southern boundary. Okay, so all I need to state for part C, part 2 is 4 meters. Okay. Four meters uh, 4 meters, 4 meters. Four meters. Four. I'm going four meters. Four meters is four steps, yeah? So um, I guess it'd be something like one, two, three, four. How's that? Yeah? It's interesting. Just earlier today, I was in a year eight class and I was asking them to cut out a piece of paper that was as close as they could estimate with no, you know, objects like this, a um, hundred square centimeters. Now we've been doing plenty of measurement, right? If I ask you for a square, how wide are the sides for a 100 square centimeter square? It's going to be, yeah, 10 by 10. And the smallest square someone did, I think, was like 80, and the biggest one was like 300. So we're pretty bad at estimating, because we don't often do it, right? Which is the whole point of this. Okay, um, part D. Part D is another one you can just read off, right? Part D, how far is the house from the street? It's just six meters. I'm just looking at it over there. After that, I think most of the ones that you can just read off, they end. So we need our ruler again. Part F says, oh no, is it Part E? Yeah, okay, Part E. Now you have to be pretty careful here because it's such a small distance. So the error as a percentage, do you remember this? We looked at absolute error and percentage error is gonna be quite large. So do your best, measure from the garage to the southern boundary and see what you get. There are bushes in the way. Can I say 